Hello, fifth grade. Um, today we're on lesson 107. The objectives are, uh, the objective is use percents to name part of a group. And the title of the lesson is, we're using uh, naming percents to name parts of a group. Um, the new concept is on page 704. And it says, percent is a word that means out of 100. If we, if we read that 50% of all of Americans drive cars, we understand that 50 out of every 100 Americans drive cars. Likewise, the statement 10% of the population is left-handed means that 10 out of every 100 people are left-handed. When we say percent, we speak as though there were 100 in a group. However, we may say percent even when there are more or less than 100 in a group. And like fractions, percents name parts of a whole. We have used fraction manip manipulatives to learn the percents that are equivalent to some fraction. In this lesson, we will learn how to find percents for other fractions by renaming the fraction with a denominator of 100. Okay, example one says, if eight out of 20 boys, or eight out of 20 students are boys, what percent of the students are boys? Now, to get from a, a fraction that doesn't have a denominator of 100 to a percent, we need to get it to a denominator of 100. We do that by multiplying this fraction by a fraction equal to 1, and we know that our denominator needs to be 100. When it is 100, we will have, now uh, the top number will be our percentage, and we've talked about that a little bit already. Now we need to take 20 times what to get 100? I know that 20 times 5, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10. So 20 times 5 is 100. So this fraction needs to be equal to 1, so the numerator needs to match the denominator. Um, we can multiply 8 twentieths by 5 fifths. 8 times 5 is 40. What is 8 twentieths as a, as a percentage? We know now that it is 40%. That's your answer for example number 1. Example number 2, found on the bottom of page 704. If there were 400 beads in all, 400 beads in all. If 60 beads were red, what percent of the beads were red? Okay, what percent of the beads were red? Um, we have the fraction 60 beads over 400 total. We can partially reduce this fraction ratio to make the denominator equal to 100. We do this by dividing each term by 4. Okay, again, we're trying to get this to uh, this fraction to have a denominator of 100. Now, 400 is greater than 100, so instead of dividing by or multiplying by a fraction equal to 1, we need to divide by a fraction equal to 1. And 400, if we divided it by 4, 400 divided by 4 would be 100. This fraction needs to be equal to 1. Off to the side, I'm going to divide 60 by 4. 4 goes into 6 once. 4 goes into 20 five times. And I have no remainder. So my answer is 15. What percent of these 400 beads were red? We know now that it's 15%. Okay, and that's example two. Example number three. Um, I guess we have kind of some, some new concepts, some new stuff to read, so I will do that. Um, some fractions are not easily renamed as parts of 100. Let's suppose that one-sixth of the students rode the bus to school. Okay, what percent of the students rode the bus to school? So we need to figure out one-sixth as a, as a percentage. We need to get six to a denominator of 100. Now first, um, since 100 is not a multiple of six, there is no whole number by which we can multiply the numerator and the denominator of six to rename it with a denominator of 100. However, we can find one-sixth of 100 by multiplying and then dividing. Okay, um, what we just heard, we need to find out what one sixth of one hundred is. Okay, one sixth of one hundred. We multiply one hundred over six. We know now that we need to divide one hundred by six. Six times one is six. 6 goes into 40, 6 times, 
we end up with a remainder of 4 sixths. I'm going to reduce this fraction 4 sixths. Okay, so it equals 16 and 2 thirds. Okay, when, when we needed to convert uh, 1 sixth to a percentage, first we have to split 100 into 6 equal parts. We did that here by taking 100 divided by 6. After we do that, uh, we know that that 1 sixth as a percent is 16 and 2 thirds. Okay? And that gives us our answer. Um, that's not, I don't expect you to put that down on the paper. And they might have some complex ones like that, but if you ever have uh, a fraction that you're trying to convert to a percentage, uh, like 2 thirds or some number that a denominator doesn't easily get to 100, um, you just take and divide 100 by the new the denominator, okay, and then multiply it by the numerator, and that's something that we'll spend a little bit more time on. Today we really want to master. Oh, I guess that's exactly what they have us dealing with. So I guess we'll do that now. Um, the team won two thirds of its games. Find the percent of games the team won. Um, again, they're doing exactly what we just did. You take two-thirds of 100 by multiplying it. Um, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way. I, I took 100 divided by 3 and then multiplied it by 2. What they do is take 2 times 100. 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, now they divide 200 by 3. Okay, 3 doesn't go into 2. 3 goes into 26 times. Okay, goes into 26 times. We have a remainder of two thirds. Our answer is 66 and two thirds percent. And this is example number three. Okay, so again, when you're trying to convert fractions to percentages, you just take them and I guess multiply them by 100 over one. Um, the numerator multiplies by 100 and then you divide by the denominator. 200 divided by three and you get your answer. Um, again, you, you are expected to simplify fractions if you can. All right, um, we're going to do two lesson practices. I'm going to start with I'm going to start with lesson practice A, and this is what you will write down for example four. Okay, it says if 120 of the 200 students were girls, what percent of the students were girls? Now again, we need to take this this denominator and get it to 100, it's greater than 100, so we need to divide. Okay, 200 divided by what is 100? We know that 200 divided by 2 is 100. This fraction needs to be equal to 1, so it's 2 halves. Um, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, so 120 divided by 2 is 60. Uh, what is 120 out of 200 as a percent? Your answer is right there, 60. Okay, um, the next one we'll do, write this down for example number five. This is lesson practice, let's do lesson practice D. Lesson practice D says 48 out of 200 is what percent? 48, uh, let's not do that. That's the exact same as, we, as the last one. Um, 30 out of 50 is what percent? 30 out of 50 is what percent? Again, we need to get to a denominator of 100. Um, this number is, of course, smaller than 100, so we multiply. 50 times what is 100? 50 times 2 is 100. 30 times 2, because this fraction needs to be equal to... That's a 1. Equal to 1. 30 times 2 is... 60. So what percent is 30 out of 50? It is 60 percent. Again, it's just your numerator when your denominator is 100. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to write them down on your answer sheets. Let me know about them tomorrow and I will see you then.